Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve, there's Howie, and this evening I thought I'd walk one of my old mountain biking trails. Starts off at Ashurst in the New Forest and goes all the way along to Lindhurst. So this is the trail I used to go along. When I say old, I mean 1985 when I first bought my first mountain bike. So uh, what did I buy? It's a Rally Maverick. So I bought that and ever since then I've been exploring the forest ever since. But this is probably one of the first trails I went along. So I thought I'd uh, take a trip down memory lane, walk it instead of ride it and uh, see if I could get some images while I'm out. There's another reason I'm here as well. I saw a picture online of a tree and a river. Well, not more like a brook than a river. Um, and I asked the photographer, have you got the locations for it? Because it interested me. And she obliged. I've got the information of where uh, the coordinates are for it. So I'm going to see if I can find that again tonight as well. Uh, so I'm just going to have a wander around now. If I can get some images, I certainly will. Oh, I'd love to know what the weather's going to do tonight. Um, as you can see where the sun is behind me and just over my shoulder there, we've got some really quite thick rain clouds. But over that side of my shoulder, we've got some really high thin clouds. So if it stays like that, we're going to get some lovely sunset images with those high clouds. If it stays like that, we're going to get some dramatic sunsets. Well, dramatic clouds. I'm not sure about the sunset. So I'm just gonna have to play it by ear as to uh, what's gonna happen tonight. First thing I'll do, I'll do is find a subject. So uh, best I'll find one now. Right, I've just come across my first composition of the evening. I've just come from that tree line just up there and I've walked down the hill a bit. The sun's getting lovely and soft now. I've probably got about an hour left of uh, daylight, which is just what I want. We're in golden hour now, hooray. Um, come across this gnarly old oak. Now it's just at the edge of this woodland here and it's got enough breathing space and nothing behind it to uh, really encroach on the image. Uh, the good thing about this is where the sun's coming down at an angle, side lighting it, it's uh, capturing all the lovely contours of the branches. Um, if I use the third of the image on the left hand side for the trunk and allow the tree just to flow over the rest of the image, um, the sun again is giving a good good shadows and light just on these little humps. See them on the ground there? So that will uh, brighten the image up a bit at the bottom. I'll be using my 18 to 140 mil lens. I'm not quite sure how close I want to go. I do want to get quite tight on it because if I come back too far, it's just going to lose. There's going to be a big dead space over here on the right hand side of the image. So I want to go in quite tight, uh, capture the detail of the trunk itself and uh, let me see how that turns out. You can hear it's really squelchy. I'm gonna put my camera bag down when it's that wet because my back gets wet, but never mind. So let's get onto the back of the camera. So now we're on the back of the camera. I've just turned the shutter speed up to, well, let's turn it up a bit higher so we can actually see on the back, 10th of a second, just so we can see what we're doing. Oh, I'm gonna focus in a minute. But I'm not quite sure. I said I'd do it about the third of the image in on the left hand side and let this tree trunk flow over the top. Obviously I won't be shooting at this exposure because that is super bright. So I'll probably be coming down a little bit to something like oh, a twentieth of a second. So we've got a good balance of light and shadow in that. All I've got to do now is wait for that sun to poke its head up again because at the moment it's quite a dull picture. So as soon as that sun pokes its head from behind those clouds I'll uh, take a few shots and I'll put them up for you. dead tree behind me. Not quite sure if it'll work. What I am going to do is put my uh, 
10 to 24 mil lens on, which is ultra wide angle. I can try and shoot up at the tree. And the good thing about this is just over to the right hand side, we've got the sun. Now that's coming through sometimes, but not all the time. So if I put it on something like F11 to F16, we might be able to get that sun star as well, which will probably be halfway down the tree. Um, if I can get that in, probably have to do this handheld as well um, let's see how it goes well it is quite a tricky old shot this so we've got an f16 see if we can get a sun star in as soon as that sun comes out just a little bit more it might make it pop a little bit I have to get quite close I'm gonna be shooting at 10 mil and ISO 100 and a thirteenth of a second try and do this handheld thirteenth of a second it's gonna be quite tricky I've got it on um, stabilization on the lens so I can only but try to get quite close but I have to get it all in so I want to get the base of the oh dear this is quite tricky let me come back a little bit further and there we go get that sun halfway in the image all right fingers crossed that turns out good Feelings Close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer. Meadows are. So I've made it to uh, the tree and the bridge. As you can see, the sun's gone down. It's been such a long walk from uh, where I took my last images. Just behind me there, see the tree line behind me? The other side of there was where I took my last images. So by the time I've walked here, that sun's gone down. But that doesn't mean to say I'm not going to get a picture of it. It's quite dark at the moment, so I'll probably do a bracketed exposure, uh, shoot for the highlights, the mids, and then the lows, and then blend them together in uh, Lightroom. I've got two choices, to shoot from this end, or I could shoot from the other side of the bridge, and hopefully the sky behind me, when that sun goes down a little bit further, it start, all those clouds will start catching some light, and uh, we could get some kind of sunset with it. So I won't talk you through any of the settings. I'll just crack on and get on my tripod out, my camera gear out, take a few images and pop that up for you. So uh, fingers crossed, it turns out okay. wrap it up here uh, me and Howie have had a fantastic walk in the new forest we've uh, got all the images we want as you can see it's getting quite dark now uh, so I'll just leave you with all the images that I've taken today I hope you've enjoyed them um, if you have please like and subscribe until next time see ya <laughs>